Sabrina and I are incredibly proud to be a part of Conservation International and excited to show you some of the work that's been happening around the world to protect the planet. If the past year has taught us anything, it's just how vital and essential that work is. A pandemic, unprecedented storms, record-breaking heat. 2020 proved that we must create a healthier relationship with nature and it's emphasized that we do so in a way that advances racial justice. It's good to see the world is finally recognizing this fact. Businesses have pledged to invest in nature. Governments have pledged to cut their emissions. But words aren't enough. They must be followed by urgent and immediate action. We are running out of time and we must do everything we can to save nature and ourselves before it's too late. Absolutely. Today, we're at a turning point. The pandemic is far from over, but many of us can finally see some light at the end of the tunnel. Now, we have a choice. We can either go back to the way things were, or we can charge a new path forward, one that atones for racial injustice and builds a regenerative global economy. Of course, we can't do all of this on our own. We will need to work with businesses. We will need to engage governments. We will need to partner with indigenous and local communities. We will need to build an entire movement of people, for people, and Conservation International has been leading the charge. From our forests, to our grasslands, to our oceans, Conservation International is building a movement. We're proving that nature is the key to addressing our most pressing challenges. Our research has produced transformative insights, our partnerships have pushed others to take decisive action, and our field programs have helped people and nature to thrive. All of these efforts are helping to slow the pace of climate change, protect our oceans and build nature positive economies. Now we need to redouble those efforts because time is not on our side. We have only a few years left to avoid the worst case scenarios for biodiversity and climate. We must create a more sustainable relationship with nature and we need your help. When we ignore science, we all pay a tragic price, but when we invest in it, we can accomplish incredible things. We can create life-changing vaccines, we can avoid the world's impacts of climate change, and we can stop the reckless destruction of nature. Science is the basis for everything that we do at Conservation International, and it's the fuel that drives our movement and will be the key to solving our environmental problems. But we can't solve these problems without your support. Together, we can realize our potential to protect nature and nature's potential to protect us.